and number your lines in your drawing because that way it'll help you keep your work organized and it'll help me check your work when you write your equations. So you're going to go back to your image and you're going to use this text tool here. Now you're going to number each line. Let's go back and read the directions. The horizontal lines should be numbers 1 and 2. So you're going to find two horizontal lines and number them 1 and 2. So I'm going to choose this one and notice I just click right there, 1. Okay, now you can, if you want to move it around a little bit, uh, you can go here, right? Like I couldn't really see that one. So you can move it like that. You have to go to this arrow tool though, right? Uh, and then I'm going to use this line over here, line 2. Okay, and again, you can um, just, I would say it'll make your life easier and make my life easier if you could just make sure the numbers are visible, right? So now, going back to the directions, the numbers three and four should be vertical lines. Okay, so I'm gonna use this vertical line right here. That's gonna be line three. And I'm gonna use this vertical line on the K. That's gonna be line four. And now, I'm gonna number my 10 diagonal lines, five through 14. So I'm gonna come here. And just make sure it's clear, like obviously if I put a number like right here in the middle, I won't know which line it applies to. So just make sure you're thinking about how to make it clear. So I'm gonna call this five. Oops, sorry. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then just make sure, like, I'm trying to think like, where do I want to put it so I'm clear which one is 10, which one's 11. I'm gonna put 10 right here. And this will be line 11. Thirteen and fourteen. Okay, so that is my line number. And now we're gonna come over here again. Create the image and drop it on your slide. Okay, so now we have our lines and they are numbered. Okay, and it'd be nice for you to just have that image both on this slide and also just have access to it on your computer because you're gonna need to be able to look at it.